Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. Here's what I found at last week's NAMAC event in the Netherlands. We start with a few one-offs. This is a Mondo Motors. It says racing on the packaging. Uh, there's no, not an actual date on here on the back it seems. Um, Italian company Mondo Motors but they're made in China. Two euro I paid for this. So this is a Renault Clio in a uh, Gordini livery. Gordini was kind of a, a French tuner. Uh, nicely detailed, pretty much uh, all around. Tempo wise, I mean, these don't have a steering wheel because. Uh, in the Top Gear series they came with the, the stick behind the steering wheel and the stick is holding the steering wheel so that way you know if there's a figure in there of the stick you have a steering wheel otherwise you don't cool nice rims too by the way not sure if they are authentic but they look good here we got a coca-cola packaging uh, the model is called Supervisor, but as you can see, it's a Toyota Celica. This was one euro, copyright 1998. And this is an Edo car, a uh, Maisto casting, I believe. Asking price was two. stuff here on the table so I'm going to have to put some uh, packagings back together otherwise we're going to get uh, it's going to get too crowded here so there you go video car to the Celica 1998 copyright got suspension got an interior just coca-cola tampos on it but, uh, that's a that's a pretty nice casting I wonder if it um, in the Maisto version or MC toy ver version if it has uh, headlights and taillights and stuff like that. I would like to find one of those. Sweet. This is interesting. It says Mattel Evolution. Only 49 cents back in the day. Mini G car, die cast metal with plastic parts, 164 scale, free wheel. On the back, you get some of the other vehicles in the set. This was two euro, so mostly European vehicles and one American pickup truck. No year on this either. So this is a Renault, uh, Renault Megane Scenic, I think it's the first, uh, really, uh, first um, yeah, phase one, I would say. Uh, nothing on the base when it comes to the manufacturer. It looks like it have, has a trailer hitch, but it doesn't, it's just a piece of plastic sticking out to clip the body into the base. A lot of flashing here on the rear window. It's got uh, headlights and taillights and black around the windows. A uh, white dashboard and steering wheel and black seats. So uh, generic looking rims, kind of look like Siku ones, and plastic tires. But all in all, it's not bad. Here we have a um, beer advertising card Saxon pills it's all in, the, in German on the packaging it's kind of a German advertising uh, company and these are made by Grell 
So here's the one that I have here in the corner. So this was five euro. Um, I think this is a Barkas, the vehicle. So you can see Grell model. I think this is a two-stroke engine uh, Barkas van. Um, this says in German Bergrettung which means mountain rescue got a little cherry on top uh, tempo details in the front and little tail lights in the back chrome rims with the rubber tires interior is ok looking a proper steering wheel detailed dashboard well, as much as there is, was detail on these back in the day and a few rows of seats in the back yeah that was a great find nice little uh, van from uh, eastern germany cool then i got a few of these mesto design ones or mesto players i say it's been slr mclaren and metallic white or pearl white 2007 copyright only one euro comes with the players card the rubber tires have gone a bit cloudy but you know can't complain for the money right so Lots of details on these, inside and out. Got the speakers in the back there. And then some details on the inside, painted silver and chrome. And another one, same year, same money. Says Benz G Class. In the two tone, here's that card again. So we got some exhaust detail, kind of strange. The exhaust ends here, and that sticks out from the side. Huge rims. So we got gunmetal grey on top and then metallic red on the bottom. Separate chrome piece for the grill and separate chrome piece for the uh, spare wheel in the back. G500. Lots of speakers in the back of this one, it seems. Two-tone seats and some chrome and silver in the interior. Oh, and some uh, screens, LED screens, or uh, I guess those would be LEDs, maybe in the back. Cool. Then we get to Majorette. One of those horizontal blister styles, like uh, back in the old days, but uh, with the cardboard bottom piece. Two and a half euro, got it for two. Does not say a date on the back on these older ones. Some have a, a stamped date on there with ink, but uh, not this one. I found a dark green one of this model just recently on a previous event. This is the Mercedes A Class. And I have this red one. It's got suspension, got lens headlights, got the German license plate on there. Black around the windows. Different red for the taillights. That's a nice touch. Again, license plate in the back. 
this does open up but it's a bit difficult and uh, you sometimes chip the the roof doing so and it's got the um, part of the back seat folded down that's a nice touch and also the windows in the front are not rolled down all the way uh, that's, a, that's a nice one not in real life but as a diecast model I like it and then I found a um, seller that was selling all kinds of VW's uh, for very reasonable prices so got the, you will see some more W's from other diecast brands too this was two euro for this uh, window box majorette maybe there's a date on the inside of the flap let's see maybe on this side no there's not So this is the Golf Mark IV GTI. No suspension. A little bit of dirt here on there. Seems to be like something like glue or so. Lens headlights. Opening a hatch in the back. Again, pretty hard to do. There we go. Oops. That trailer hitch. I think I might have bent it a little bit, you see. That's the danger with these opening parts. Yeah, it's got a little crack there. It's a bummer. Sometimes it's best to leave them closed, but you see. If you would have this as a kid, that rear hatch would be uh, gone uh, very, very soon, very fast. Yeah, I'll uh, tweak that back later on. Great interior, proper steering wheel. Okay, looking into your. This was a little bit more expensive. This was three euro. But you know, was willing to spend that because uh, you know it's a station wagon. We got uh, two blue colors of this. Uh, I got this silver one. This has a metal base, by the way. The 300 TE also has a trailer hitch and uh, the opening lift gate. Let's be a little bit more careful now. Okay, that's good enough. Got some luggage in there in the back. Also has this uh, same gray color interior. And headlights with the gray grill that is seems to be part of the interior. Yeah, this uh, hatch in the back works much better than the that one of the Golf suspension. Few uh, blister ones, two and a half, ended up paying two. BMW M3, got suspension, got the opening doors, kind of a brownish interior. Can get a good look at the proper steering wheel. Actually, looks like a, a BMW steering wheel from that era. That's very nicely done. Love that. And it's got the uh, the indicator and uh, screen wipers, stalks behind it. Very nicely done. Got the tail lights done some black paint on the uh, license plate it's not a clip from the base it's riveted it's uh, actually the, um, the grill here in the front that clips into the body black paint for the kidneys and then lens headlights of course nice one 
another blister one, two euro. Cleo B85 and black painted headlights, painted tail lights, and the Clio with the Renault badge. Trailer hitch, same gray interior. Well, the same color, of course, a different interior. The here's a Pinder one, so the Pinder Circus. This was a little bit more expensive, 273. I'm not sure what um, brand of truck this is. It says 1 to 100 scale. The uh, Made in France has been uh, crossed out, so uh, this is definitely made in Thailand. A little spoiler on the cabin so what you see is red is metal and then the yellow is plastic I think this opens up in the back so it doesn't really want to yes there you go so you get a little bit of a ramp to uh, to roll stuff in there like that le cirque pinder Got a whole collection of these Pinder cars, so it's kind of hard to resist for me. And then we got this old Majorette team packaging. So, not sure how far this dates back. Um, got these paper clips on there, and it was uh, already the blister had already come undone from the cart when I bought it, but just for the uh, thumbnail picture and for you to see the whole thing I put those paper clips on there it says here on the base in gold Renault Clio same price as that Pinder one from the same seller well these were I think three and a half euro at normal price and I got a little discount because I bought a lot of stuff from that seller mostly Norev so metal on metal but uh, made in Thailand also copyright Renault 1990 it's got suspension got the lensed headlights nice blue color white interior that also makes for the bumpers and the hatch opens up carefully yeah, I'm going to uh, lift it just to there not further to be on the safe side. Do not have an example of this casting and just looked okay, so picked it up. And also got this trailer set by Majorette. Again, open both flaps to see if there's a date. There you go. December 20, 2008. So we got a Renault Megan 2, phase 2, or the second model, suspension opening doors, again a realistic looking steering wheel. So we got some black paint on the side, we got the headlights painted and the taillights. And then here's the trailer. So made out of metal mostly, except for what's on there. The motorcycle is plastic. Not a bad looking set. Then, first time ever, I found two Guisval at Namak. Guisval Miniaturas and Metal. So this uh, is a Spanish brand. 
and uh, these are actually made in Spain well this is an older one but they still make uh, them in Spain I've seen a um, garage set at Aldi not so long ago and it sell, said uh, made in Spain on there but uh, yeah it was more than 20 euros so there was only a few cars in there kind of was interested to see what the cars were like nowadays but you know, didn't want to pay that kind of money um, so 273 it's from that same seller as the majorette it's got a little arrow here so I'm guessing this is where you pull off the piece of paper well kind of but it doesn't really work that well so this seller had four of these um, I picked the one that had the least damage to the mirrors you know packaging rub and then later on I found a seller that had a complete display with all kinds of colors and versions of this uh, Renault Twingo so yeah that was a bunch of them this one has foggy windows unfortunately so a Renault Twingo Guisfal made in Spain on the base no suspension it's got um, hot wheels wheels on it these are called what the hot ones or something like that I'm not sure um, I don't know if they were allowed to use this uh, style of wheel or they got sued by Mattel or something like that I don't know but these are clearly copies of Hot Wheels wheels lens headlights it's got the soft top partially open it's got a hatch that opens up also very difficult to do yeah I'm not going to force it leave it it's got red tail lights that are plastic that are not part of the interior so they are a separate piece and then the interior looks well pretty basic it's got a disc for no no it's a separate it's a proper steering wheel i mean but yeah that's about it too bad it's uh, yeah so foggy And then the other Guisfal, this is a kind of the old style packaging, it's a Renault 21 Nevada, this was a 2 euro, I uh, practiced before the video how to get this off, so you kind of have to stick a screwdriver in there to uh, push these pins open, but I broke off one of the pins so now it comes off easily, so you don't have to struggle with it on a on camera although it was unintentional didn't mean to do that so R it stands for Renault of course 21 Nevada Quizfall made in Spain no suspension it's got opening doors it's got an orange interior that also makes for the tail lights uh, bumpers are part of the base and it's got lens headlights now this thing kind of looks like a minivan and you know the extra row of seats in the back so three three rows of seats also makes it look like a minivan but um, in reality this vehicle was much lower and much longer so um, yeah it's the, the proportions are off on this one I have to say but uh, it's technically well it is a station wagon so it's going into the station wagon collection also got a bunch of Siku. This is a Mercedes-Benz ML320 in a German police livery, Polizei. Uh, one euro asking price, ended up paying 87 cents because I bought a bunch of stuff from the seller. Nice uh, light bar there. Separate piece, and also has the opening part. Painted details all around basically. And it's got the trailer hitch. Generic rims, plastic. And this one was 3 euro asking price, ended up paying 2 euro and 62 cents. In hindsight, not worth it. It's, um, it's a nice vehicle. It's a Mercedes Benz E290T. T 
I believe stands for Touring, for a station wagon. In a uh, German fire department livery, Feuerwehr. It also has that same light bar, but it says uh, Feuerwehr on there instead of stop. Got the antenna that also the, uh, the previous vehicle had. Emergency number 112. It's got the model name on the back, Turbo Diesel. And in front some silver for the headlights and grill and the logo. But it has a few paint chips, one here and uh, there's more, yeah there's one here, uh, right there. So that's kind of a bummer, it's got scratches on the windscreen windshield so the condition really doesn't justify the price. Uh, opening lift gate, but you know, it's a wagon so I didn't see the the flea bites otherwise would not have paid that kind of money. Um, authentic looking uh, rims with plastic tires and plastic base. Here's the Siku Club school bus, Schulbus in uh, German. Three and a half reduced to two and a half. I'm not going to open up this one right now. I'm going to keep it for the uh, school bus video. Same with this one. This is going to be opened up in the Unimark video. It says snowplow on it. Same price point. It's got the uh, yeah. snowplow in plastic. This part of the base. The bed is metal and so is the cabin. Did not have this version yet. And my buddy JK was also there. He brought, brought me these from Finland. Uh, this is a new diecast brand, as far as I know. MSZ, Metal Speed Zone in 164 scale. And um, he asked me if he should bring me some, and I asked him to bring two models that uh, I don't have in, in, in this scale uh, and probably do not exist in the 164 or 3 inch. Uh, here's what the back looks like. Definitely a Hong Kong uh, company. But it's licensed by Maserati as you can see here. Pretty pricey though. So, got the diecast brand name on the base, MSZ. 164 Maserati Ghibli, used on a license made in China and then another logo from that uh, Hong Kong company probably Screw together so for customizers you can be, put some uh, some wheel riders on these if you want Wheels look okay but they, they sound a bit flimsy um, We got painted details in the front uh, The logo is very nicely done so is the badge here, I must say. Tempo wise, nothing on the side and in the back. Get the tail lights, Maserati name on the license plates and on the boot or trunk itself. And it's got an interior, should have for the price. Ooh, that steering wheel is a bit, uh, yeah. That doesn't look that good. The rest of the interior is pretty okay. But they, they need to do something about those steering wheels. That's, uh, yeah, for the kind of money, no, no, no bueno. But a uh, very nice paint job, must say. I don't see any imperfections. It's, uh, yeah, very nicely done. Oh, no, not bad. And it's got side mirrors too, by the way. Didn't mention that. And here's the Audi A7. Armin's at City does the A5, but. Um, don't have an example of the A7. So again, same style base. Nicely detailed. Audi A7 sport back on the license plate. The back. Same license plate but in silver. And also has that uh, strange steering wheel that is too small and 
not very detailed. Interesting. Um, yeah. Some majorette I should have opened when I was doing the majorette stuff, but anyways. Um, deluxe cars, Bugatti Chiron, Pure Sport, Bugatti Chiron, French, six euro asking price, I ended up paying 523. Uh, I hope you find these, or well, some of these in store for 499, so that's just a little bit more than what probably will be the store price. Packaging date November 2021, so that's uh, recent stuff. This is a 2022 release. So the looks cars means metal body, obviously, rubber tires, suspension like most major had have, opening parts, well, extra opening parts actually, and licensed vehicle like most major had are. Let's take a look. Comes with a collector box. So some info there on the base. Let's get uh, some suspension, not much. Uh, the rubber tires. Generic looking rims, nice uh, color scheme, the headlights, hmm, interestingly, they are plastic but they look very dark, I mean, um, they're probably part of the window piece but the, the windows are heavily tinted so that's why they look pretty dark. Nice uh, tempo job here on the grill, number 16 and the Bugatti logo. The uh, the frunk is opened up, but you know, not much to see in there. It says uh, Bugatti on the wing, which is uh, plastic, black paint on top there. Uh, there's some engine detail in there, but we don't get to see it because this part doesn't open. Don't know why they didn't choose to open up this and not this. So the doors also open. The back we got the tail lights and the uh, Ettore Bugatti logo. And then we can take a look, a peek in the interior. We got the steering wheel with the flat bottom. You can see the suspension bars going through the interior there with this. Uh, the square tube there underneath the seats. Nice. I was not expecting to still find this at the end of the event, I must say. Very cool one. And another majorette I forgot about earlier is this car transporter. 12 euro. This German seller was asking, offered, offered him 10 and he accepted. And this is a older release, not sure how old it is. This was uh, pretty dusty even though it was in a uh, box and uh, after cleaning it up I was really pleased with the, the color. It's uh, a yeah, very nice color. Uh, so let's turn it around. Got a Kenworth one two eighty seven scale, made in France. The kind of a generic car transporter trailer, also made in France. Let's see if I can uh, disconnect this. I think you have to push it down something like that to disconnect. There's a little lip in there uh, that I might have broken off now. Did I? I'm not sure. Anyways. I'm ruining, I'm ruining a lot of stuff here it seems in this video. 
So we got um, some engine detail under the hood. I think it's a plastic piece. And you get a nice click when you close it back up. See, smokestacks, chrome steps. Uh, metal base, well, the silver part, oh, there you go. That's the part I broke off. Nice one. Some silver and some uh, maroon. Well, those are all metal, I mean, nice chrome grill. And then the trailer part. So the red or the maroon is metal and then the yellow is plastic. So this comes down and this also comes down, but Oh man, I hope I don't break it again, because, you know, there you go, you can drive them on there. Uh, of course, being 187, it's uh, it's much smaller than the, the actual cars. See, now it doesn't stick on there anymore, because I broke that lip. Oh man. How did that happen? Old plastic, I guess. So yeah. Like you can see here, it's not really to scale. But you kind of get the idea. They do fit on there. I think there's one space for one more in the bottom, like that. So it does kind of work. With toy cars, you can't be a stickler for accuracy, right? And let's continue with this bus here. FC bus, made in Holland. In the packaging, 5 euro. It's, uh, packaging has yellowed. So for the little bus collection, I got this one. It says FC Holland on the base in scale 187, so uh, mostly metal except for this uh, roof part here where the windows are in, that's plastic. Um, Snelle Vliet Reizen, it says on the sides, so uh, that's what the company is called, this travel company. And that's the location they are at, some black paint for the bumper. In the front, we've got the uh, name of the bus, Bova. So, Andrew Bent, you were correct. It is a Bova. This is the one I found previously at another event. This is a Holland Auto. Um, so, it seems to be a different diecast brand. It's not the same. It's got... Uh, the one, well, seems a little different, less tail lights and a little bit in a different position. Also the metal here, this part here, besides the window in the back, is metal, where this is all plastic. And in the front there also a little bit different. Not much, but just a little bit. Square headlights on the right and round on the left. So the grey one is probably a little bit older model. The, uh, the right one looks a little bit more modern with the, the lights on top here. It's got a different roof. Seems like there's a part here where you can put a box on there. Maybe that's missing. Nice heavy model. Then let's see what we're going to do next. Let's start with Matchbox. This was three euro service ambulance Ford three ton four by four for the ambulance video. Uh, I'm going to try to find an example of each Matchbox ambulance casting to uh, show in that video. And uh, this was presented to me. I was, wasn't really looking for it. 
And the seller was asking five and uh, you know, got him down to three euro because stickers are missing. All in all, it's not in a bad condition for being, I don't know, this is uh, 1959 till somewhere in the 60s, I think. So pretty old. Here's the truck camper. And this was called the Blood Mobile. You can see a drop of blood there. This is a 2003 release. Got the opening door. By the way, this thing here, this uh, Star of Life, is not supposed to be there. Uh, it had all kinds of uh, these uh, well decals on there. But uh, I was able to remove all of them except for this one. This one won't budge, so maybe I'll leave it on. Here we got a um, Matchbox Fire Rescue themed one. Uh, this is from a 1997 five pack Fire, two euro, reduced to one euro seventy four cents. So this is how I bought it. Nicely wrapped, I must say. So this is the auxiliary power truck, a Mac suspension. These uh, chrome lights lift up and they also turn. Got the blue light bar, part of the blue window piece. Lots of chrome on it, fire department, and a lot of metal on it too. White part is plastic. Chrome part is plastic, but thing you see is red is metal. No interior though, but that's okay. Got some moving parts on there, so can't really complain, right? And we got some uh, carded blister stuff. Dodge Charger Pursuit. This uh, is a 2014 release. Pay two euro for this. It's in a uh, real livery of uh, Boone County Sheriff. So we got the uh, light bar part of the window piece. Got a push bar in front. Here's the 1995 Volkswagen Concept 1 convertible. Two and a half reduced to two. Uh, this is a 2005 release and this is the one, um, the casting that did not have the side mirrors. The first releases of these had the side mirrors. Got a few of those still carded. I'll show them one day or open them up one day. Tail lights, headlights, side deco, so four tempo passes and a proper steering wheel with an okay looking interior. Well, what more can you ask for? Uh, no suspension though, is it? Does it? Wait a minute. Nah, not really. Just, just bending the axles. Volkswagen Microbus also two euro. So from that same seller that had the uh, the major red VW Golf, also selling these matchboxes for really cheap for Europe, two euro. I mean, can't leave them. Two thousand four release. A bit of a goofy uh, deco. Extreme Park. Nice uh, Metal Flake Blue though. No suspension. And the rest of these are all fire trucks. So from one seller who's selling a whole bunch of ambulances and fire trucks. So I got a bunch of them for the uh, fire engine video or the fire station video. Um, this classic Seagrave, this is the first release, 2012, 2013, Renault Master Ambulance, 2016, Pierce Dash in black and gold, 2015, Pierce Dash, 2013, Pierce Dash fire engine says on the card. This was uh, new in 2008 or the first release. 
by the way these were asking price two euro ended up paying one euro 67 for all of these fire trucks here's fire engine then a model I did not have an example of the ladder king 2007 release not a lot of releases of this one I think five or so in total same one but from 2008 it says two and a half on there but they were two Hazard Squad 2012 this is a rear Asada casting by the way and uh, this is nowadays all plastic body but this the, the part that you see is yellow is metal so got a nice way to it 2013 Ford F550 Super Duty and then the last two are the nicest ones in my opinion finally I have an example or examples of the Dennis Sabre this is the ladder truck because there's two Dennis Sabre castings and not only, not only that it's a Euro edition so exclusive to Germany it's got German uh, livery on there well I don't know if this is a realistic or authentic livery but it, it says Feuerwehr on there fire department in German uh, yeah, really nice 2008 copyright and a stars of cars version also the Dennis Saber ladder truck also German exclusive fireware on it again very nice almost uh, spectra flame red on there 2005 copyright so you'll see those opened up one day and the next ones I'm also not going to open up because uh, I don't have space for them. Hot Wheels Boulevard Lancia Stratos Group 5. So these Hot Wheels Premium were all 5 euro from my favorite German seller. Of course the uh, Porsche 964 um, either it was not there or it was uh, more expensive. I only look at uh, the boxes that had the five euro stuff in them so didn't encounter it but maybe it was there don't care it's not important to me British horsepower set gyro lightweight e coupe e type sorry very nice but stuff you've all seen already Morris Mini Lotus Esprit S1 And the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. What I'm missing from the set is the McLaren F1 GTR because it's a Golf Deco. Um, even people who don't like this model but collect Golf stuff will buy it. So that's why it was not there. The Toyota set, the 87 Toyota pickup truck. Um, missing the Starlet and the Supra. The other ones were there for five euro. This has a broken blister. That's okay. It's going to get opened up eventually. Hopefully, one day I'll find something to put them in. Toyota 2000 GT. It's got the lens headlights. Nice casting. Not exhaust. Toyota Land Cruiser FC FJ60. So there's a new casting. That's really nice. Yeah, like it a lot. And the base clips into the body, so no post in the back, thankfully. Fast and Furious Jeep Gladiator. With, uh, you know, kind of different uh, tool back end there. And the Land Rover Defender 90 in black. Yeah. So, well, the other cars in the set are pretty nice too so I would have grabbed those if they were there and if they were five euro of course then some more matchbox five pack tubes square tubes so I've done videos on round tubes in the past you can find those videos on my um, in my matchbox playlist if you want to check that out very interesting um, but I did not do uh, or have any of these square tubes yet. I bought these from John Nehuis. 
he's a former Matchbox ambassador who always has a, a few tables at Namak. So he has a uh, Matchbox collection of 20,000 vehicles. Uh, Dicas Dude did a video at his place, so um, I will, uh, if I don't forget, I will link that video at the end of this video. So you can check that out if you want to. Uh, first time ever he brought these to the event, he was kind of uh, wanted to see if they would sell, and apparently they did because I bought them. He has uh, about 300 more five packs for sale, extra stuff that he has. Uh, he, uh, he used to go to the United States a lot for work, he worked for a, um, a Belgian company, but he's a Dutchman. And um, yeah, that's how he picked up a lot of stuff from the US. And he has this big collection. So there's all kinds of prices on here. There's eight and a half euro, that's eight euro, and I ended up paying seven and a half, so that's one and a half euro per car. This is a, uh, this set is uh, called Rescue Chiefs, and it's from 2002. Also has a 2002 copyright on here somewhere right there so I'm not sure how to open this I'm just going to cut off the J hook like I do with the regular five packs and uh, we'll see what happens here and that will uh, open it up Let's see if we can just peel this off from the back sorry for the noise there we go Uh, also interesting that you can look at the cars, the whole cars in the back like that. Uh, that's something we can't do with the classic style five packs. From uh, what I remember from the tubes, the tubes were very much wedged in there. I hope these are not. Okay, first one is a police car, just a generic. Matchbox, matchbox original, I should say. Uh, also, be interesting to see if uh, some of these still have uh, suspension because it's you know 2002, so some might still have had suspension. Don't know what it looks like in the front here. It's got the yellow windows for it to get a yellow light bar. Police chief on the door, but inter interestingly, this has a plastic trunk lid that opens up and there's some uh, stuff in the back there whatever that is but that's interesting did not have an example of this casting so that's a great find um, running out of room here so just a moment yeah like that um chief just says chief on the door and this one Beetle 4x4, and this is the one with the opening frunk, although it doesn't open very far. It's got a spare wheel in there. It's got a uh, plastic piece on top with some lights, it seems. It's not really a light bar. Well, maybe this is supposed to represent the light bar. That's a separate piece. It's got a blue interior, so blue base, blue interior. Kind of goofy looking, but well, we had to have an example with the, the front opening. Jeep a Cherokee. Oh, look at that. We got suspension. The, uh, yeah, the Beetle 4x4 doesn't have suspension, by the way. But this one does. Kind of a fire department chief, it seems. Separate piece for the light bar. I love that kind of stuff. Trailer hitch red interior red base got jeep embossed in the lift gate there that's nice here we got the chevy blazer 4x4 still has the uh, aerial on it and got a lot of suspension travel on this one wow look at that very jumpy. Uh, 
yellow window piece, yellow light bar part of the window piece. This looks like a kind of a mountain chief. And we got a Chevy Silverado 1999 model. Green base, trailer hitch, all metal bed. Look at that. Also kind of a mountain chief, it seems. Whatever that is, I'm just making this up. Does this have suspension? Yeah, it does. Very soft suspension, but it does have suspension. Cool. And then the other one is called Sizzlin' Style. This was a 2003 five pack. Same price, seven and a half euro, one and a half per car. Okay, cover your ears. There you go. There's a few really nice cars in here. We start with a casting I did not have an example of. Ford Explorer Sport Track. You can see this rubber band here. Hopefully it did not damage the paint. Doesn't look like it. No, we are fine. Um, no suspension. It says Ford badge here on the side, Matchbox badge here in the back. Tempo wise, we just get those side decos. There's not even a Matchbox badge on this side. But there's something that compensates for that lack of tempos, and that's this here. Well, if it would open. So this has an opening tailgate, but this one is not budging. Oh, there it is. Got some uh, paint stuck to the side there, like that. And then you have this thing that kind of folds out. Oh, it's not really properly clicked in. Usually it should be clicked in, but that's not the case either. Man. I'm not locking out on my diecast today or in this video. All seems broken or non functioning. Oh, geez. Anyways, if you want to haul something longer, you can put down the tailgate, flip this over, and then you can put something longer in there. How cool is that? I saw this feature on the uh, XLT Off Road Bear. That was pretty cool. Got a paint chip here on the on the side here, by the way. Jeez. Yeah. Not having much luck with my uh, with my finds from this uh, event. But you know, it's not the seller's fault. It's in it's in a sealed packaging. Ford Focus with suspension. Side deco. And then, I don't know if this is a rear deco or top deco, these red lights, uh, these tail lights, I mean. That's a nice casting. It's kind of big, but I have a few color versions or variations of this. Proper steering wheel. Not bad. Lotus Elise. Oh, look at that. You got a metal on metal casting with suspension. Matchbox logo on the back, Lotus logo on the front here, and that's all we're getting tempo wise. Right hand drive, as it should be for a British car, and a proper steering wheel. It's kind of bent down. Porsche Boxster, no suspension. Delights, boxer name, matchbox, logo, and then a Porsche emblem on the front. And a um, okay looking interior, proper steering wheel. And here we have the Dodge Viper GTSR in black and gold. This is a nice logo here in the back, the snake.
Got the RAM logo here, Viper GTSR, Dodge. So lots of uh, side deco or tempos. Nothing everywhere else. Not bad. Let's see. Can we still look at Norev? We're already one hour in. You know what? I'm going to do the Norev at a another time because uh, we are already uh, past one hour it's going to be too much to do that all in one video so um, there's going to be a Norif video and I also got some premium stuff so since these are kinda sub premium I might combine these together with the premium stuff that I found at Namak and then we do that in the next Chase Report next uh, Saturday hopefully thanks for watching bye